Hello, it's Warner's Innovations here and as you can see we've gathered some materials and some samples, some swatches and we're going to go through how you can build a mood board and the benefits and the help it can bring when planning a project. As you can see we've gathered some brochures um, and found some imagery of the things that we might be looking for. This is a great way to see what's out there, gain an insight into the possibilities and that's a great starting point. So as with lots of things, there are lots of options. So we start with your tiles, um, your furniture finishes, uh, different colours and textures. You've got worktop finishes, so this one's like a marble. And then we've also got one with sort of a natural sort of stone-like um, texture as well for you. Another thing to choose is grout colours. So these are um, to sit within your tiles. You can have sort of contrasting ones or you can pick ones which fit in with the tile colour. So blend seamlessly and create that very minimal effect. There's also brassware options. So again, matte black, brush, brass or chrome are the most popular. There are others out there, but these are the most popular um, in building a scheme. So the first thing to decide when building a mood board is decide what sort of colour scheme you want to go with. Whether you want to keep it quite neutral and go with sort of just really simple textured tones or whether you want to go bold and bright and pick samples that add a little bit of colour to your space. Most people tend to go with quite a neutral base so they can customize it and change it sort of over time should they wish. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've started with a natural base. It's good to include um, tiles and products as a base um, as that's what's gonna be seen in the majority of your space. So this gives you a great idea of the overall color and look. These are samples of door finishes, which we've selected. You can also have the option of a contrasting carcass. So this is a lovely way to sort of tie in different tones, to tie in with your tiles um, and also the rest of your home. We've got this tile sample here, which goes really nicely and complements both textures and finishes. Um, it picks up sort of the different tones and again, works sort of harmoniously in the space. The wood sample here, this is another option. So you can have this on sort of the sides of your furniture um, should you want to include that sort of more natural element. You can also have it as sort of a floor tile, um, which is a lovely way to introduce that sort of natural feel. When placing your items on the mood board, it's great to put them whereabouts you think in the room it will go. So for example, if your vanity is to the left, and your toilet is to the right, it's good to put them in that order so it just gives you the best idea. So I know I mentioned earlier about grout colors. So we have these samples here um, and we have them in store so you can look at the options. Um, and you can have an either a sort of contrasting color, so something darker, should you wish, something like that. Or you can have one that blends in with your tile so you get that seamless finish. We tend to recommend a slightly darker grout on the floor to help with maintenance um, and cleaning over time, but the choice is ultimately yours. And as always, there are lots of options. As you can see, it's slowly but surely coming together. So the next stage would be to select your worktop. So we've got two samples here, which are two of my favorites. Um, so if we place them sort of alongside the vanity unit, you can get a better idea of how they'll work collectively. So it's easy to overcomplicate a space and in order to keep it minimal and natural, I'm gonna select this plainer, more simple one. So with a marble finish, each piece is gonna be different um, as it's created in that way to give you that sort of organic feel. 
So now we come to our choice of brassware. So as mentioned earlier, there are three sort of main finishes. There are others, but these are sort of the most popular ones. Um, and so we're going to pick one to go in our scheme. So in order to keep that sort of warmth um, to your space, especially if it's north facing uh, where it gets a little less sunlight, brushed brass is a great way to impact and contrast with existing furniture and light levels. So if we place this, again, alongside the vanity colors, so you can see how it will work together, and beside your tile and your floor samples, you can see the um, finished space and it gives you a much clearer idea and insight into what it could look like. So again, with mood boards, they are um, very versatile. There's lots of things you can add to them, whether that's paint, fabric, um, lots of little swatches that you can add. But as you can see, this is just a starting point. Showrooms are a great place to start and give you so much inspiration and an insight into what options are out there. We have so many products on display for you to have a look at and get a feel for, and that is a great starting point. And as you can see, it's all coming together from initial inspiration to final mood board. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.